Hi guys, I'm Gasha. Welcome to our coffee times to talk about horror. And today I have my unboxing for the Abominable Book Box. It's coffee time. So this is actually the box from July. They shipped the box July 19th, I believe it was. And I just picked it up today from the post office. Today is the 6th of August. <laughs> You're going to see this video later, but the day that I picked it up was the 6th of August. It always takes so much time to get to me, but I'm always really excited to open it. I don't know what's inside. I always stay spoiler free and I didn't even plan to record any video at all today, but I really tried. <laughs> I really tried to leave the books for tomorrow, but the intrigue is killing me. I need to know which books that I got sent. I need to see the goodies. So we're going to open it up already today. Here is our beautiful box and I do get the full subscription, the full guts, which means that I get all the goodies plus the three books. Um, so let's see which ones I got sent this month. So far all the books that they have sent me have been books that I have either been interested in that I almost picked up myself or books that sound good to me. So all in all, you know, they are sending me books that I am genuinely interested in as a horror fan, even though sometimes they do send thrillers, which I also love a good thriller. So without further ado, let's see which three books I got this month. Let's get that first peek into the box. Let's see. Ooh, nice. As always, you guys, we have the second hint book which is always wrapped like this like a little present i love the way that they wrap this up i always feel so bad having to destroy it <laughs> to get to the book i mean this is amazing packaging i love it it's simple but it is perfect let's do it let's see which one i got it looks like or it feels like a small paperback i don't know if it's a vintage one but it looks like a small paperback so let's see Ooh! oh nice nice i love this stephen king carry now i do want a copy of this book but i own the hardcover because if you have been following me for a while you might have heard me say that um i love stephen king a lot it's basically why I got into horror when I was a kid. Um, I was too young to start reading Stephen King, but one of my aunts gave me a Stephen King book and I have not been able to stop reading Stephen King ever since. <laughs> so thanks, shout out to my aunt, um, which is in Spain right now. She still lives in Spain. Um, and I made the decision to collect all of the Stephen King books in hardcover because I want to have a complete Stephen King collection. There is a few of his books that I don't think there are hardcovers for, like this little werewolf book that he wrote um, that I have in paperback. But um, I don't mind this one at all. I am definitely keeping it. I do have, uh, I think it was a first edition of Carrie with a black cover like this. But I love this so much, I'm gonna keep it. I don't care if, if I already have it. What I probably will do is I'll keep the hardback as just show. <laughs> and this one is the one that I can use every time I want to reread the book. Um, this looks also amazing. It looks like it's in great condition. And on the back you have scenes from the movie, which is also amazing. Great, this is basic, is amazing. Um, so, mm, I love it. It's such a good condition of a paperback and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would die to have one of these. So I'm really, really glad that this is the one that they chose for me this month. I don't need to see the rest. I already love this book so much. Like, I love this book so much. Excuse me while I have sex with my book. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm just very excited because I really, really like this. All right, so next, we have actually chocolate, ooh, Space Hopper orange chocolate. Look at that, and it's a full bar. Amazing. Now I also have a snack to enjoy while I read my books. The second book is Smother Moss by Alisa Allering. So this is a new release, and I remember I spoke about this book not long ago in one of my 
upcoming book releases videos because I remember the name and I distinctly remember this cover because I thought it was so cool. Kind of Alice in Wonderland meets horror um, because you have here like a black bunny on the top and here is the bunny but kind of like a skeleton and you have a lot of things in between. Here there's like flowers and cards and it kind of looks like a little bit Alice in Wonderland-esque. So I'm really glad that I got this one. This is the author's debut novel and it's described as rural gothic meets fairy tale and it takes place in the Appalachian mountains, in the Appalachian um, region and we follow Sheila and she has always been very different and not really loving the life that she has. You know she has a right for foraging and getting bunnies for food and she dreams of a different type of life. She loves tarot cards, she thinks that the tarot cards speak to her and then she starts to feel something really heavy weighing around her neck. There's some sort of presence, there is something um, so I think this is going to be a very dark, atmospheric, weird fairy tale kind of thing and I'm really excited. Now this is not the type of book that I would gravitate towards like as a first choice. However, I also love that I get now the opportunity to try it and see if I love it um, because I always say I want to expand my reading a little bit um, and the genres that I read are let me say better the subgenres of horror because mostly I read horror but of course then every month I am always picking slashers and, and books that are mostly kind of the follow the same pattern that I know or the same formula that I know I love so it's great to receive books unexpected that might you know widen my horizons <laughs> so I I love this. I'm, I'm really happy to be giving this one a chance. If you guys have already read this one, let me know down below what you thought of it because I would be really curious. It's also not too long, so it's not a very chunky book. So I feel like I can give this one a chance and see if it's for me. So sorry, I have just realized I didn't tell you what Carrie is about because I just assumed that everybody knows. <laughs> But maybe you guys are not familiar with Stephen King and you guys don't know. So Carrie is a girl that, um, you know, apart from having to deal with her struggles and growing pains of being a teenager and not having the best relationship with her mother, she also has a power, the power of telekinesis. And the people at school, the I mean the students, the other students are being really mean to her. They're bullying her and at some point she loses control of her powers and she just wants revenge on those that have done her wrong. Um, I strongly recommend you the book as well as the adaptation with Sissy Spacek. I don't recommend you the remake that they did. Nothing against the remake or um, Chloe Grace Moretz. I like her as an actress but the remake was just not it. It just didn't have the same vibe. I don't think that she really fit the part of the outsider, the weird one. It just didn't have the vibe. So I would recommend you if you wanna watch a movie to watch the original. And now let's see which one is gonna be the third book. Ooh, I'm really glad about this one. It is Looking Glass Sound by Catriona Ward and I've been meaning to read more from the author. Um, my favorite has been The House on Needless Street. I have loved that book so much. I would recommend it to anybody but it is a very weird book. However, I did read as well Sundial and that one I did not love as much. I still enjoyed it and I think that Catriona Ward has a very beautiful way of writing weird stuff, strange horror that just creeps under your skin. But Sundial was not exactly mine. It was not exactly my vibe. But I've been meaning to give her another chance because The House on Needless Street is one that I have loved. So I don't know if it was maybe a one-hit wonder for me or if it's just that Sundial didn't click with me for whatever reason. So now I can give the author another chance with this one. Let me know down below if you read this one, what you thought of it, do you like the author, um, do you have the same thing that I have, like did you enjoy some of her works but not the others? Let me know in the comments down below because I will be really curious. We follow Wilder and he's an author and he's getting ready to write the last book he's ever gonna write and it is kind of like a memoir about his childhood, the friends that he had including Skye who stole 
one of his manuscripts and published it and got very successful but then mysteriously died. But apart from being about his childhood friends, he also mentions the Dagger Man. And this is a monster that he knows from his childhood that everybody in his town believed was like a real monster that was hunting them. So I am expecting another really weird twisted horror tale. Um, I am however hoping this is going to be I mean, it sounds kind of more similar to The Last House on Needless Street. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to be more like that so that I can enjoy it, hopefully. Um, but this author has such a good writing style. Like, her writing style is exquisite and I love to read it. It's just Sundial is a book that I couldn't connect with as much. So I'm hoping this one is going to be... A good read for me but we shall see but i'm still gonna give this one a chance especially because i want to know if like i said the last house on needless street was just like a one-hit wonder for me or if it was just sundial that it was just a one case exception that didn't work let's see what else we have in the box Ooh, nice we have another pin so last month i think it was last month we got a pin from it by stephen king and this time we have a pin from Evil Dead. Look at that! And I have loved the Evil Dead franchise and I loved the new movie that just came out last year. I think it was fantastic. I did a complete rewatch of the franchise last year um, and I really like this pin. It's another pin for my horror collection and they are really good quality. Like I really love these pins. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, we have our bookmarks. Of course, we have the Abominable Book Club bookmark. And the other one we got this month, ooh, it's a Nosferatu one. Um, it says, I love the darkness and the shadows where I can be alone with my thoughts. And as you can see, it's Nosferatu, which is one of my favorite vampires. Um, and it says on the back, the Abominable Book Club, but it's really pretty written. I love it. This one is fantastic. We also got our book blade for the signed book of the month and we also got another sticker that it's a cat. This is how I know that they're listening to me. <laughs> it is a cat sticker. This was made for me. I love it so much. We also have the author's letter to put together with the book and I'm gonna read this before I start the book. And we also have, of course, my favorite part, the beverages. We mostly get the same things every month, but I love them, so I have zero complaints. We have our coffee to go. We have hot chocolates. We have our Nescafe. And we have two teas this month. We have Dorset tea and Dorset tea ginger and sunshine lemon. I've never heard about this tea or this brand, so I'll give them a try. I always love to be drinking something hot, even in summer. I still love sometimes to have a hot coffee, a hot tea with my book. It just makes the whole experience a lot cozier. So this month has been a real win for me. These are the three books that I got on my Abominable book box. We got the new release, Smother Moss by Alisa Allering, and this is the one that came with a signed plate and with the letter by the author. So this is going to be gothic kind of fairy tale, and I'm really excited. We got Looking Glass Sound by Catriona Ward. I'm just expecting this one to be really weird and I'm probably gonna be questioning everything that's happening here but I love a good book about a writer or a book that's been written especially this is a memoir we also have the dagger man which is a figure that the children probably were scared of when they were kids so it kind of sounds like the type of book for me but we shall see. And for the used book, I got this amazing copy of Carrie by Stephen King, which is in excellent condition. It is as they know me and they knew this box was for me and they chose this one because this is, this is for me such a good one to get in this subscription box. Um, so I am extremely happy that I got this one. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this quick video of me unboxing my abominable book box for the month of July. Let me know down below if you have read this book, what you thought of the box. Let's talk about it in the comments down below. And thank you guys as always so much for watching. I hope to see you all as always in our next coffee time. Bye.